Beetlejuice, an extremely bright star in the night sky, is notable for its beautiful orange color and for being variable, meaning that its brightness can change over time. In fact, at times, Betelgeuse can become so bright that it rivals the brightest stars in the sky. There has been a speculation about a possible explosion of Betelgeuse and the terrifying consequences this could bring. Join us as we examine the current status of this star. The star Betelgeuse is so colossal in size that if we were to replace it with the Sun, its size would engulf the orbit of Mars and extend into the asteroid belt. This may be frightening, but keep in mind that Betelgeuse is 642 light years away, making it the closest star to the Sun that will eventually end its life in a supernova explosion, according to Neil deGrasse Tyson. It's important to understand that the brightness of the star can vary significantly. For example, Rigel and Aldebaran are two stars that can have very different brightness levels at their brightest. Aldebaran may be as bright as Rigel, but at its faintest, it may be comparable to lower magnitude stars. This variation in brightness is due to several factors, such as the size of the star, its temperature, and its distance from Earth. Over the past five years or so, a period of choice and difficulty has been observed in the brightness of Betelgeuse. The origin of the word Betelgeuse dates back to the Arabic language. According to scholars, the usage ending is considered to be the most appropriate for the context in which it is used. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star located in the constellation Orion, at a distance of approximately 642.5 light years from Earth. Its remoteness makes it one of the most studied and fascinating stars in the night sky. Betelgeuse is approximately 10 million years old, while the Sun is 4.6 billion years old. Despite being significantly younger, Betelgeuse is an evolved star that is likely to experience a supernova explosion at some point, which will have devastating repercussions a few tens of light years away from Earth. A massive supernova explosion can generate such an amount of light equivalent to that of an entire galaxy. So if one of our nearby neighbors, such as Alpha Centauri, should decide to have such an event, we should not overlook it. Even if it did not show up as bright as the moon, we would be exposed to intense radiation of all kinds. We haven't observed a supernova in our galaxy since 1604, although one did occur in the Large Magellanic Cloud in 1987 which had visible effect even at a distance of 169,000 light years. Supernova remnants, such as the object known as D292.0 plus 1.8, are the remnants left behind when stars explode. They are of a rare variety with abundant oxygen present. Fortunately, the Large Magellanic Cloud is far enough away from our typical danger zone around a supernova. Now, all this still doesn't answer the most important question. Has Betelgeuse really exploded? The closest red supergiant star to Earth is Betelgeuse. While it will eventually explode, when Betelgeuse began to dim significantly in late 2019, causing a big stir around the world, some people thought that the main event was about to happen because of Betelgeuse's unusual brightness creeps. However, so far, Betelgeuse has not experienced an explosion. Since that episode, this prominent star in the constellation Orion known as the Hunter's right shoulder, has regained some of its dim brightness and appears to be transitioning to a less active condition. Betelgeuse, which emits a distinctive crazy view, is easily recognizable and is well positioned for observation during the early evening months of each year. Astronomers have come to determine, after examining data collected by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories, that this physically supergiant star experienced an explosion in 2019 during the event, Betelgeuse created a huge surface mass ejection and lost part of its visible surface. This behavior, a coronal mass ejection, or CME, occurs frequently on our own sun. In this process, a portion of the sun's delicate outer atmosphere, known as a corona, is blown away by the solar wind. However, the CME produced by Betelgeuse ejected 400 billion times more mass than the average CME indicated that a cloud of hot gas released by the star temporarily covered some of its light, increasing the strange dimming observed. These new observations have provided vital information about how red stars lose mass at the end of their lives. 
as their nuclear furnaces burn out. The amount of mass lost greatly affects their fate, but Betelgeuse behavior indicates that the star is about to explode soon, or has already exploded. We're observing stellar evolution in real time. The titanic outburst of 2019 produced jolts and pulsations that blew off huge chunks of the photosphere, exposing a large cold surface beneath the dust cloud that produced the cooling of the photospheric chunk. Betelgeuse is currently struggling to recover from this injury. The dust cloud that contributed to the abnormal darkening was also produced by the fractured piece of photosphere that shot out into space. What's even more mysterious is that the 400-day pulsation of the red star has disappeared. At the moment, experts believe it's temporary, but only time will tell. Scientists are excited to know what the Betelgeuse supernova will look like from Earth. They believe that the Earth will not be damaged, but when the Betelgeuse supernova explodes, it will shine as brightly in our sky as the size of the moon. For more than nine months, all the brightness will be concentrated in one single point, so it'll look like a beacon in the sky casting shadows at night. It'll be hard to miss, and we humans will be able to observe this glow even in the daytime, at least for a long year. When Betelgeuse finally fades away, Orion will be missing its left shoulder. Although some predictions suggest a greater distance, Betelgeuse could be as close as 642 light years from Earth. Determining the exact distances red supergiants like Betelgeuse remains a challenge for astronomy. Despite its remoteness, Betelgeuse remains one of the brightest stars in the sky. With an inherent brightness about 100,000 times more intense than the Sun, this intense energy accelerates the fuel depletion in Betelgeuse and nears its inevitable end. Another star that has scientists concerned is Eta Carinae. Eta Carinae is an extremely luminous and massive star located in the constellation Carina, approximately 7,500 light years away from Earth. It's one of the brightest stars known in the Milky Way. What makes Eta Carinae particularly interesting is its unusual behavior. In the 19th century, it experienced a massive eruption known as the Great Eruption of Eta Carinae, which made it one of the brightest stars in the sky for a while. However, since then, it has lost much of its luminosity and has become less prominent in the sky. Eta Carinae is a binary star system composed of a massive and hot star known as Eta Carinae A and a smaller, hot star called Eta Carinae B. Eta Carinae A is believed to be an unstable star in an advanced stage of its evolution, and it's expected to undergo a supernova at some point in the future. The study of Eta Carinae has been crucial in understanding the evolution and behavior of massive stars, as well as investigating stellar formation processes and stellar explosions. It's the subject of observation and research by astronomers worldwide, using a variety of techniques and observatories to unravel its mysteries. So what do you think? Do you think our generation will be able to see this phenomenon in our skies? Tell us in the comments box. Remember to like and subscribe. This way you will be supporting the channel. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you in the next one.